Hi, my name is Nikki with MSI Supply and today I'm going to talk to you about pipe. We're going to go over what is needed to correctly quote pipe and go over each attribute in great detail. There are seven things that our wonderful inside sales staff will need to assure that we are quoting the correct pipe. The seven things are diameter, length, schedule or wall thickness, material, coating, what welded or seamless, and restrictions. The first thing we are going to go over is diameter, which is stated in inches. This may seem obvious to some people, but there's confusion because there is a nominal pipe size and an outside diameter. The nominal pipe size, which is also known as the NPS, is the North American standard size for pipe. If you take a look at the pipe chart, the schedules are listed on the top of the pipe chart. Schedule 5, Schedule 10, Schedule 40, also known as standard, True 40, Schedule 80, also known as extra heavy, True 80, Schedule 100, Schedule 120, Schedule 160, and extra, extra heavy. Now let's look at 4-inch pipe. If you notice, 4-inch pipe, Schedule 40, and standard, and True 40 are the same decimal number, 0.273. Same with Schedule 80 and Extra Heavy and True 80. 0.337 is the wall thickness. Schedule 40, also known as Standard, and True 40 are the same until you get above 10 inches. Anything higher than 10 inches, you will need to specify if you are needing Standard or True 40. Anything higher than 8 inches, you will need to specify if you are needing extra heavy or true 80. This is why it is always good to specify your wall thickness with a diameter to make sure everyone is on the same page. A common mistake on the wall thickness is people thinking schedule 160 and extra extra heavy follow the same rules as standard with true 40 and extra heavy with true 80. Schedule 160 and extra extra heavy are two totally different wall thicknesses and will never be the same. Next, we are going to talk about length. There is two different lengths that pipe will come in. The first one is 20 feet, also known as single random length. This comes in 16 feet to 22 feet. The next is 40 feet, which is also called double random length. These come in 32 feet to 44 feet. You can also order a cut piece of pipe. There will be a cut charge as well as a lead time. Sometimes the cut piece will be more than the single random length. Let us know if you want us to quote it both ways and we can. Next, we are moving on to material. We have carbon, stainless, high yield, and exotic material. We'll start with carbon. There's two different specs, A53 and A106. We'll start with A53. There are two different grades, grade A and B, which can also be seamless or welded. The main difference between the two grades are the yield and the tensile strength. Next, we're moving on to A106 which is a seamless carbon spec, which has similar chemical properties to A53, which is intended for higher temperatures, and it has different mechanical properties. Next, we'll move on to stainless. There's many different options in stainless, but the main ones are 304, 310, 316L, and 321. The most common ones are 304 and 316. 304 and 316s are used the most. The difference between the two is molybdenum, which is resistant to corrosion. 316 is also more expensive due to the cor corrosion resistance. Next, we're gonna move on to high yield material. This is used for high pressure pipeline, onshore and offshore, gas pipeline, subsea and sour gas, X42 through X80. The two digit number following the X indicates the minimum yield strength of the pipe produced uh, at this grade. Example, X52 will have a minimum yield strength of 52,000 MPA. Next, we're gonna move on to exotic. There's tons of exotic material and we have them all, but we're gonna talk about the most common. There's Alloy 20, Duplex, Monel, Inconel, Chrome, and C276. These are all used for specific applications, so just let us know which one you need. Next, we're going to talk about coatings. This is only quoted whenever you specify it. If you are not specified a coating, we will be quoting plain pipe or black pipe. The three main types of coatings are lacquer, TGF3, and fusion bond epoxy. Lacquer is extremely inexpensive coating applied right after production, and it's used to slow down the outside corrosion. TGF3, also known as hot cold tar, is used for underground applications. This is rapidly being replaced by fusion bond epoxy due to the messiness of the tar. Next, we're gonna talk about fusion bond epoxy, which is also known as FBE coating. FBE coating is a thermoset epoxy. The pipe is coated with an epoxy and then put into the oven. This is used for underground application. It is used to extend the life for, of the pipe about 20 years. The finished coat of this pipe is a sea foam green. Next, we will need to know if you need your pipe seamless or welded. 
Throughout the years, specs have changed, and you never know if people are talking about the same thing. Always specify if you're needing your pipe seamless or welded. Last but not least, we need to know if you have any country restrictions or working with an AML. Every client is different and uses different AMLs and different country restrictions. Please let us know if you have an AML and please send it to us. Some final reminders before I go. We need a total of seven things to be able to quote your pipe correctly. Those seven things are diameter, length, schedule or wall thickness, material, coating, if it's welded or seamless, and if you have any country restrictions. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to your RFQ.